16% are either say it helps or don't know. So that's why the president's in trouble. See, because he created a high expectation and failed to deliver. That's why in the latest Gallup, he has a 67% disapproval on his economic policy. This brings us to the second big issue facing America this week. This has caused a huge amount of spending. We have had an 84% increase in the discretionary domestic spending budget of the United States government since January 20th of 2009. 84%. This means that the size of the federal government went from roughly 20% of GDP as of the day that President Obama was sworn in to 25% of GDP today. The government has taken a 25% bigger slice of the economy than it was when President Obama came into office. And this has resulted in huge deficits. I remember in 2008 when President Obama was criticizing President Bush for a deficit that ran 1% of GDP. We've now had three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back deficits that have equaled 10% or greater of GDP. The public debt of the United States, the obligations which have been securitized in the form of a bond and sold to somebody, and on which we make interest payments, is equal to 54%, excuse me, 40% of GDP the day President Obama was sworn into office. By the end of the first year, January, uh, January 1, 2010, December 31st, 2009, it was equal to 54% of GDP. By the end of last year, it was equal to 62% of GDP. By today, it's equal to 70% of GDP.
actually the most fun you can have on a Tuesday in Baltimore. 99%. We are the 99 percent. 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 Thank you.